Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 3. All right, and we left off. Uh, we were escaping the castle, and we're going to continue doing so, because really we don't have a choice. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we yeah. going? I, I thought we were leaving the castle. We are, but there's something we must do first. Really? All right, well, I guess we're going to uh, follow you on whatever you're going to make us do here. Okay. I guess we can do that. All right. The catacombs, all righty. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. Yeah, you probably should have. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we hate you. Well, I mean... It's, uh, the night your father died, I promised him I would bring you wow. one day. Wow! Thank you for telling me that. You I didn't enough. need to know. And strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. Here's hoping. But yeah, I did not need the game to tell me how long I've been playing this game as opposed to friends. That's going to be a pain in my ass. I wonder if I can get rid of that uh, feature. Give me a second. Ah, good news, I can't, so fuck me. Alrighty, well, that's going to be an annoyance to have pop up on the left side of the screen every other five minutes, but oh well. Oh, we're doing some cloak and dagger shit to make the hands drop. That's a guild seal. This is your father's most treasured possession, the guild seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take Alrighty. It. I guess I gotta pick it up. And what do I get out of it? Is something supposed to happen? Yeah. And that's what's happening. I like how he just looks over casually and just like, well, here we go with this. Alrighty, so. The road to rule, huh? Teresa! Who are you? I am Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This I means bet. the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Walter and Jasper. You've decided to escape the castle with me because my brother is crazy. All right. Oh. Saves an image of how I'm looking at this time in my life. Well, that's cool. You can slowly and gradually see the uh, progression of your life as time goes on. Wait, you can read stuff? Read. Hero plinth. Okay. I assume if you're playing with a uh, another player, theirs would pop up over here. I'm assuming. Never done it. Don't know. Probably how that works. Fireball spell. Fireball there is a great power last inside back you. Step. You merely lack the means to unleash it. Take this. Now, this is a different thing from the other games. 
From the other games, you could unleash your will energy just by itself. It would let you just harness it and use it however you see fit. Um, and usually your first spell would generally be thunder or thunderbolt, whatever. Uh, some variation of that. This time your first spell is fireball and you don't really have the ability to use the will energy within you yourself. You have to use the gauntlets to be able to harness it. That is weirdly limiting for reasons I don't really understand. It would be one thing if it was if it was the old system way back when where it, it made sense for that sort of thing. But because of the way they did this system, you have to spend guild seals, which is now your general all-purpose experience, and there is no uh, branching experience abilities to get that way. They used a standard currency for your experience, for lack of a better phrase, to get your abilities. And that leads to this sort of limitation in that regard. I am on the fence on that, honestly. Um, Lore-wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense, considering all heroes are supposed to be able to, in some way, shape, or form, access the will energy on their own if they have a specialty towards that. Um, most of them did, if I recall, in some way, shape, or form, but this seems almost asinine a little. Is that the word I want to use there? It, it's, it seems a little strange, okay? That's what I'm basically trying to say, but we'll go with it. The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. Well, here's hoping. Because if they want me to be a leader, they're going to have to. Ah, uh, or at least if the story wants me to be a leader gonna have to make sure the rest of them follow me now that's another thing it's only one gauntlet on one hand later on later on you get the ability to get two gauntlets and you can mix and match spells however you really want uh, instead of it being just one spell and one spell only if you're using a spell uh, you have the ability to mix and match different spells together or just be two of them at the same time for a stronger spell to be unleashed. That's one of the pros of this system. Um, that you're less limited in the spell casting. And honestly, that's a very big pro. Because that used to be one of the biggest problems with the first two games was that you were very limited in what you were able to do when it came to spells. Mind you, uh, when in 2 you could set different levels to be different spells, but nonetheless it was still limiting because you couldn't do anything extra on top of that. And you had to sit with the power level of a spell that you put there. You couldn't Unless you put it in a higher position, then you couldn't use that spell in that higher strength. And then you would be giving up something that you wanted utility-wise in another aspect. This allows you to at least have both at the same time. And you can scale the strength to however you want, depending on how long you hold the button. That is useful. But, yeah, that's, that's just me talking about the game and slightly more or less reviewing it. Um, 
Give me a moment. I'm going to finish off my drink and then open another one. Alrighty, and we're back. Release. And back we go. Well, do you... Do you feel any different? I don't Hello. know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... I get, yeah, you want to leave it as a surprise just so no one's expecting anything until we know. And at that point, I just have to press the button. I don't really hold it or nothing. It's own little cutscene it thing. Works. You really are a hero. Fuck yeah. I never doubted it for a second. Well, of course, neither did I. Still, though, it bloody worked. He still wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I get you. That makes sense. Okay. Somewhat narrow, isn't it? Dark, too. Yeah, a little you bit. care for confined spaces, did you, Sir Walter? Oh. I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. What of it? No, oh dear. I seem to have struck a nerve. How about if I strike a butler on the bumps? <laughs> uh, to be fair, Jasper would have deserved it. After that light bit of teasing. Uh, still, um, claustrophobia is a bit of a bitch. From what I understand. So, I understand. <laughs> I get it a little bit. I get it. Okay. Ah, now this is more like it. Yeah, it is. Grand, spacious, a plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. Yeah, you sound claustrophobic there, Walter. I'm just saying. Now I understand a lot better. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight, but they need a leader. Someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. Hmm. That is a good point. And we'll definitely uh, need to gather more people to support us. I noticed this out the corner of my eye. Hey! I am the key master. Silver keys are still a thing. This late in the series. I don't right remember how they function, though. Oh, there goes the uh, audio glitch again. Uh, it's probably going to pass momentarily. Because if I remember correctly, uh, most of it was just performance chugging along problems that also affected the audio. Uh, and this is quite a lot of area to load, so I understand. But, uh, still, very jarring and annoying problem to have. Whoop. Well, young hero, yeah, I guess it is. is oh, okay. Woo! Okay, that's an annoying statistic to be telling me. All right. You have cast a low power spell. Well, Your victory against the bats have earned you more seals. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. <laughs> it is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> oh, Jasper, you can give it, but can't take it. Anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. Bats just the beginning. I think you're making a mountain out of an anthill, honestly, but okay. Whatever you say there, Walter. 
Uh, well, there's a divergent path over this way, but uh, we can't really use this if I don't remember correctly. Oh, it requires gold keys, which gold keys is a thing that you don't really get that often. So, the odds of having them are slim to nil. If I remember right. More bats. Get ready to fast Yep, okay, that's gonna be a bit of that. Use your spell. Well, I'm trying, but the thing also flies like crazy. Really fast. Another impressive display. To think, this morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for royalty. Now I'm a midnight snack for bats. Oh, they don't <laughs> eat on humans. To it. A lot. <laughs> if anything, they feast on cows. Come on. Let's be real here. You might want to cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. Ugh. Very well. Oh, you might want to cover your eyes too, Jasper. More bats! Time to exterminate a few more bats. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do that, huh? Well, you certainly got, got the most hang of, of that spell. Yeah. Shall we proceed? More or less. Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath Powerstone Industrial. Probably. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city once we reach the surface. Well, here's open. Here's another divergent path I want to follow up on. Nothing. Okay, well. At least I checked. Which is, uh, the important part. Oh. It appears to be a dead end. That's what you Not think. Not quite. What is that? I'm that is a colorless sure gate. It's a colorless gate. Hey! Sort of magical transportation system for heroes. Oh, way, I way was back. I the when. impression the colorless gates were all gone. Well, it looks like there's one left at least. Oh yeah. Your father must have placed this one here in case he ever needed to use it. It's the same Which symbol that we saw by the tomb. Do you suppose it's activated in the same way? Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, there is. You know what you and that did it. Away I go. To here. <laughs> well, Jasper was not ready what for is that. This place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. That is very useful to have. Hmm. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty mm -hmm. of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very Damn good. right. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. That right, is fair. All right, then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. We'll find out in a moment. But I want to pause it here for right now because this is a weird...
combo-ish sort of system between um, 1 and 2. Uh, there was the map system that allowed you to go after quests uh, in the first one. And then there was a essentially a pause menu map that allowed you to travel around the place um, for two. So, this is a weird combo of the two of them. I'm, again, on the fence about its implementation because it forces another load screen to get there. But, that was the dog's collar. <laughs> <laughs> that was rather loud, wasn't it? Um, she likes shaking it a lot. It jingles, so she she's very fond of that. Um, <laughs> um, where was I? <laughs> what train of thought was I on? I've ran off the train. Um, okay. Uh, it, its implementation seems a little goofy. I mean... It has to load up an area to get to the map screen to then load it up again when it just could be a simple load up like it was in 2. But I do understand um, when the sanctuary is fully up and running, the sanctuary becomes its own pause menu, essentially. Uh, interactive pause menu. And exceedingly interactive, might I add. There will be a lot of things that will be available later that uh, you'll that will help you understand this uh, when I say interactive but um, it's still fairly weird for that to be the thing when it could be just a simple go to a menu option and then take that so uh, like I said I'm a little bit on the fence for it uh, when it comes to the implementation of the fully interactive pause menu, it makes sense. Uh, when it could be just as simple as it was in 2, it seems a little off-putting. But that's just me. Okay, so let's interact with the map table. Now, that looks like the Dweller Camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should camp. be taken there. Just like that. Alright, that sounds pretty easy to me. So, we could do that, or, we're going to look at some of the other stuff around here, although we can't really go to anything. That's a couple cottage areas there that looks like, yeah, these will unlock later, but this becomes more of the map system later on, and then other places will unlock later over here where you can go to then there's this whole area here that you have to traverse at some point that'll be a pain right in the dick and yeah that's essentially it that's all the spots it's all the important stuff now this is how you fast travel uh there is an implemented system when it comes to real estate. And as we both know, that will become a thing eventually. But, uh, also, no one took me up on that, uh, money giveaway for Fable 2. <laughs> no one took me up on that. No one posted in the comments. It's a little annoying. I wanted to share the money. <laughs> but, oh well. It's, a, it's whatever. Maybe in this game. Maybe in this game. Uh, especially if I'm going to be playing as the asshole. <laughs> Which I'm definitely going to do. Okay. Would you like to travel to Dweller Camp? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. I have no idea what's going on outside, but it's right outside my window and it's annoying. Oh, we're getting gifts now. Look at that. It worked. Oh, hey! I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Oh, yeah. Come that on. That makes sense. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, 
They hate Logan's guts. That's yeah. good. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd Jeez. have a hard time finding food, but I had food. no idea it oh, was this no. bad. Honest, her name's Sadie. Oh no, that makes me feel oh, no, real bad. She's willing to trade her dolly to get some food. Oh. The man we need to convince is Sabine. A proud old Sabine. Sodom, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily. I'm sure not. Especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone we can't first. Hunt. Thanks to you right. know, maybe you ought to find to some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly All less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. That's I only fair. have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't city. worry. From You'll find Street, someone you? willing to take that you money off you. you Fair enough. Wish Starbucks. me good luck. Maybe you're more good good luck, Walter. In the meantime, I'll be I'm finding so what I can do with this money. Ah, uh, can I buy a shop? Uh, uh, By unlocking the entrepreneur pack in the Road to Rule. That's... That's a bit of a thing as well. Um... There are some functionalities of the game that are... It's not as bad as locking it behind a paywall, but it is almost as annoying. Some of the functions that were readily available in the first games are now locked behind a chest that you need to earn in the Road to Rule. That makes it absolutely annoying to do things that were already available to you. Second one when you get money in the first two games. That is so, so aggravating. <laughs> but there's not much else you can do. So... Uh, for now, we're a little bit around the time frame where I would end this episode. So I'm thinking we'll just end the episode now because it'll eventually start to pick up a little bit in the next episode should it follow the events that I think it's going to take. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the game for playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and fucking escaping the castle. Finally getting magic because we are a hero after all. And uh, bitching a little bit about some of the game's mechanics and praising it where it was good for you.